Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Saga 2 Goddess of Destiny. Right now, I am still inside the nasty dungeon world on the outskirts, and I'm just kind of looking around here. It says I'm in a small world, and you can see some other little tiny small worlds out here over the clouds. It's almost like you're playing Xenoblade Chronicles or something. It's kind of cool. I wonder if all the small worlds are together, like the world where Lynn was captured, um, or like the racing world and all that. Or if we're just kind of floating above some of the other worlds, and we're just kind of looking down at some of the bigger worlds. Not entirely sure. But anyway, we're done here in the uh, nasty dungeon place, and last time we did some side quests. And I got what I consider to be the best monster in the game. So now I don't have to worry about eating meat or monster transformations or anything else like that again, thankfully. Hey, so let's just move on to the next world and uh, see what we have here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just going to go there off screen. I have some more Threads of Fate to buy. I got that taken care of. Um, also, I severed my connections just so it's easier for me to, um, to create a new team name. Because we will have another Shining Jewel event coming up. Eh, not really. Well, not today. Probably next time. And I'm going to need a different title that's not hate, family, love, or friend-based. Because the other Shining Jewels that I got were on those. Really? Seriously, game? Damn it. <laughs> because, yeah, the other titles that I had were, um, were, were under those team names. Oh, yeah, this Celestial Superhighway, it can be a little bit confusing, especially whenever you get teleported around, um, having to go to the Castle of Fate, and then you get, like, sent back, and you're kind of just dumped in the middle of the thing, and you're like, oh, well, which way do I go? I don't know, and you just kind of hope for the best. Yeah, I get turned around quite a bit in here. It's not exactly the best layout. Ooh, this is kind of nice. Valhalla oh, Palace. Really? Whoa. Yeah, everything's pretty narrow here. Oh, lucky me! A surprise attack. That's just great. Thankfully, though, they're not really dealing much damage to me. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's blizzard on you. Just attack. Um, keep on attacking. Let's see. We can use flame. That's fine. And uh, let's see. We'll try thunder over here. Hopefully, we can get some damage in. Um... Most of these enemies here are actually enemies that we've seen before in the Nasty Dungeon. They've appeared there, and I showed many battles in the Nasty Dungeon, so if I'm skipping, yikes, battles, yikes, here, it's because we already, damn it, saw them in the Nasty Dungeon. Yeah. Okay, let's get off of here. Now we're on clouds. This is kind of nice. It's like a sky world. Whoa! These enemies are so fast! Let's see, where is the excavation point? Perfect, here it is. This thing only drops gold nuggets, that's it. It's either worth 8,000, 16, 32, or 64,000. If it's on the higher end of that spectrum, as usual, give it to Urania. Raise up her MP, raise up her power level. Whoa! Yikes, get away from me, bro! Oh, perfect. Okay, so let's see, first things first, let's go over this away and see what we have. Yeah, this uh, palace, it's rather large, but it's also kind of peaceful. It's kind of a nice reprieve from the nasty dungeon to the, that we just went through. And the music, it's unique, although it might sound familiar to some people who have played this game before. Or if you're playing along with me and you just weren't as lucky as me, it might sound familiar to you also. Just, just saying, just hint, hint there. Thankfully, it is kind of easy to avoid the encounters in here because it is so large. I'm gonna staff of wizardry, awesome. Not that I, whoa, really ever use it. If I'm ever really gonna use anything for, um, for my mutant, um, it's going to be flare books. And we will be able to purchase flare books Pretty soon, actually, and I have tons of money in order to buy them. Okay, moving right along. Yeah, this place, not so long. Let's see. Oh, we have a, a demolition point right over here. 
Uh, something tells me this guy's going to bash me. Ugh, don't want to fight you. Uh, I think that these guys are new. The Hammerhead, the Snow Leopards. You know what? Hammerhead, Puppet Thunder. Uh, let's see, we'll have you. Let's use this. Uh, Dragon Sword is actually, you know what? Let's use Flame Sword. That's the uh, weakest there. Flame! And we can use Fire on you. Whoa! It's just Urania who died. Who really cares? She's actually, I mean, she's, she's good for healing and whatnot. But quite honestly, her HP is just so low, she's not really dealing much damage either. Uh, probably because I don't really have a whole lot of MP for her, but I also don't really care about getting more MP for her. It's just not worth my time. She's pretty much just here as an extra tank, heal bot, whatever. Her sacred is nice, so that's something. Okay, so here at this excavation point, we can get an Orichalcum bow, a rune axe, an elixir, or a raising cane. Let's see what we got. Oh, the bow. One of the. Well, it's better than the elixir, I guess. So that's something. Whoa! Yikes! You know what? I think that I want to go here. Over here. There we go. Yeah, for some treasure. I got a circulate. Yikes! Oh man, that was close. Um, the circulate, I believe, will get rid of um paralysis. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Oh, this is empty. Okay. Yeah. Wrong way. Okay, so let's go up this way. Yeah, and then we'll. Whoa! Yikes! Oh man. I'm getting very lucky at running these guys. This is this place is pretty though. I like it. I like the cloud world. I like how every world is different. Like this was a Game Boy game, and back on the Game Boy, yeah, things looked different-ish. But the way that they did this on the DS, like they really did make things different, um, so that every world just is. It's just nicely done, you know? Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that they could make well-thought-out, well-designed games back in, like, 1991. Why can't they do it today? To me, it's like that whole graphics over substance thing where, you know, the... Uh, game designers seem to have forgotten that graphics don't make a game. You know, graphics, they're nice, but that's not what I'm playing a game for. I'm playing a game for story, for gameplay, for... Fun! I'm not really playing a game to look at pretty pictures. Just saying. Yikes! Ooh! Flare! Yeah, so good. Um, let's see, continuing right along. Lots of enemies here. This is actually a really good spot for grinding if you want to. I don't really feel the need to, especially because David has a lot of HP. Yeah, Kringle's kind of lacking behind on the HP department, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and there will be other grinding spots coming up soon enough also. But again, if you're lagging behind what I'm at, or if you didn't get like a super top tier monster, or if you did like some kind of scurry, scurry party where all you have is mutants or something, then, you know, you might want to do some grinding. Oh, who's this guy? Huh. Hey there, what's going on? The Palace of the Fallen Heroes? Well, what do you mean? Yeah, who are you? Oh, you're a new god. What the hell are you talking about? I've fought my way tooth and nail here. Are you serious right now? Yeah, we're gonna kick yo ass, new god. We got 70 relics. How many could you possibly have? Yikes! Let's do it to it for boss time! Against Odin himself! But, actually, I want to show you something. Hold on one second. Well, now that we've died... What actually happens? Yeah, where are we? Huh. 
every single time that you get a game over, no matter where you are in the game, be it the first world or this world, this will happen. You'll be sent to Valhalla Palace and talk to Odin. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Well, great. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Oh, there's two conditions. Oh, exchange of vows to battle someday. Really? Okay, I guess so. Sounds good to me. Okay. And then you just get sent back into whatever fight you were fighting whenever you died. Well, we've seen what happens when you speak to him whenever you don't have any game overs whatsoever, but what happens when you talk to Odin once you've had a game over? No, I haven't. I mean, it happened like two seconds ago. Oh. Oh, what's the reason? Oh. Oh, that's a good enough reason, I guess. Oh, that's a really good question, actually. Yeah, we can't just kill you. Oh. Uh-oh. You're not gonna answer our question? For boss time! Against Odin himself. Make sure that before you start this battle, you have a team title that will, um... give you a shining jewel. Basically, any team title will do that you haven't gotten a shining jewel with before. So like I said before, I've gotten shining jewels with hate, family, love, and friend uh, based titles. So I went ahead and I got an ally based title so that I can get another shining jewel. Okay, so what you want to do here is flare him to death. Use um, everything at your disposal. Let's see, we've got another flare going on. Urania, she is going to be your resident healer, just using heal over and over and over again, because her other abilities besides sacred pretty much suck. There's no need to uh, use her. They'll do like, I don't know, 100 damage or something, whereas your other team members' abilities will be dealing is, uh, between 5 and 1,000 damage or so. Odin has 10,000 HP. And so he could take a couple of rounds to go down, but it's really nothing that you shouldn't be able to handle, especially if you have Urania over here just wailing to death with Flare, or I'm, I'm sorry, having, having Urania heal, and everybody else wailing him to death with Flare and regular based attacks and other great stuff. Ooh, lots of gold there. Awesome. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, and again, this is where you get the Shining Jewel event, so make sure your team title is different. Let's go ahead and uh, look at this. This is a one-time only event, as usual, with the Shining Jewel events. So, what do we have? Great! We'll have to turn that in next time I go see the gods in the uh, Castle of Fate. Oh... Huh, that is a very Nordic thing, I've got to say, to want to die in battle. Oh no! Well, that sucks. Yeah, so now if you get a game over, you just screwed and you return to the title screen. Do I get anything unique and good? Ooh, the Massa Moon. Nice. That one you can actually use in battle um, an infinite amount of times just to deal a strength-based attack. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, now that we've uh, dealt with Odin, what awaits us next? Find out next time on Let's Play Saga 2 Goddess of Destiny. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And 
have a good day.